Lynn O'Friel and welcome to my channel. You may have already watched my Turner Classic Movie Wine Club and if you did, maybe you're wondering what do I do with all those old Hollywood style wine bottles after I'm done drinking them? Well, the answer is I love to display them as decor in my home. I think that they make really great conversational pieces but sometimes I get doubles or I just have too many and I don't really know what to do with them. So I thought it would be a really clever idea to get creative, add a little paint, zazz them, zazz them, jazz them up a little bit and display them in this room, as you can see. Um, this is my beauty room. I like to call it my vanity room. And I thought these were really just a fun way to add some decor and personality. So there you have it, guys. Like, do you see how cool that is? Or am I the only one who thinks it's cool? Probably I'm the only one who thinks it's cool. But if you think it's cool, keep watching this video <laughs> because I'm gonna show you how I did that, okay? Cool, thanks. <laughs> Weird. So here are a few of the bottles I'll be using, one of which I tested to make sure the paint would adhere to, so that's why it's painted a little bit. I'll be using this Art Minds paint in the color silver, as well as some chalk paint in gray, and some more silver metallic paint. To top it all off and seal it in, I will be using Mod Podge. Now I'm just arranging some of these gems, pearls, diamond accents, flower decals, rhinestones, and whatever I have that will spruce these bottles up and give it a more fun and glamorous look. And now I'm just going to paint the bottles. It's as easy as that. However, if you've ever painted glass before, you know that it could be a little bit tricky and stubborn. Some paints just don't adhere well to glass. So I highly recommend using a chalk paint or something with a thicker consistency. Rust-Oleum paint also works really well because it adheres to so many different surfaces. You may need to apply multiple coats, but make sure you allow enough time for each coat to dry before putting the next coat on because you don't want it to peel or get ruined and that will definitely happen if you don't allow the time to dry. After painting all my bottles, I sealed them in with some Mod Podge. It's a good idea to seal these in. That way they don't chip or get ruined and you'll just have a longer lasting finish. You can use Mod Podge or wax. There's a variety of sealants you can use. I let them dry overnight and then I started adding the little decals, pearls, and gems. I got all of these from the dollar store, so they were super inexpensive. They were only a dollar, maybe two dollars max. Most of them are from the Dollar Tree, but I did get a few from the 99 cent store as well. This is my favorite part. It's the most fun because you get to play around, experiment, think outside the box, and just kind of let your imagination run wild. You never really know what will look good together, and sometimes you'll be pleasantly surprised. Most of these were self-adhesive, so they're really easy to put on, but I did use hot glue gun just in case. You can use E6000 or Gorilla Glue for a more permanent hold. And you can also Mod Podge or spray a sealant over these. That way it is there 
to stay for good. I'm using these little finger protective thingies that I got from Dollar Tree. They are supposed to help make sure that the hot glue does not burn your fingers and they definitely come in handy. So I highly recommend picking these up if you do see them. So thank you so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun getting creative and sprucing these items up and truly making them my own. I think they look really great in this particular room and I hope that this inspires you to also get creative. With a little bit of imagination, you can truly make something that you already have lying around the house. You know, you can turn that trash, per se, <laughs> into a treasure. and. I think it's a lot of fun and it's a great therapeutic thing to do, especially right now with the world being so chaotic. I think it's just a great time to do DIYs and, you know, arts and crafts and things like that. So if this inspired you or if you liked this video, just don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I really would love that so much. I have a lot of really fun videos in the works coming soon, so stay tuned for those. Thanks so much and see you next time. If I knew how to wink, I would.